Ken Surfs here. It's time for a mid-week shave. It's actually Thursday. It's almost the, uh, the end of the week, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, I had a really good mail call, I think I told you, from uh, Yaki Shaving Company. And, uh, you know, Yaki, I'm, you've seen a lot of their uh, reviews on their brushes. They seem to be really excellent brushes, I've got to admit. And I uh, went online, and there was one brush that in particularly stood out, which was the 1818 model, I believe it is, if I'm reading this right. But uh, just had to have it. Ended up ordering one. Came, and it is a silver tip badger. Size 24 knot. Doesn't that look awesome? Does not smell, you know, if you're new to wet shaving, you'll know that a new badger brush may smell like a wet animal for several shaves. And so far it doesn't, uh, but we will see. It's just one fantastic looking brush. I really, yeah, hey, look, it matches the shirt. I really have been looking forward to trying this. So this, this just came in the mail. So what I'm going to do, I've got the crystal skull here. I'm going to soak it as we are talking. Don't want to bend the hairs yet. There we go. See, it's right in there. That thing's absolutely perfect for uh, soaking your brush. And I'm going to try a razor. And I think I've showed you this in one of the previous videos. But uh, it's a double. It's from Yaki Razors. And it is the... Uh, which model is this? Well, it's a double open, open head comb. But uh, that's the uh, number that was on the package when I got it. It's a double over open head comb and a three piece. And this handle almost feels, the, the knurling on it almost feels sharp. So I'm not going to drop this. And it's a three piece razor, very, very heavy handle. Look at that, double open comb. And what I've heard, actually I like this because it's got the... Uh, the Yaki, Yaki, Yaki logo on the bottom of it. So I'm going to load up a uh, Gillette Wilkinson sword because that's, that's kind of my go-to when I'm testing out new razors. You may notice I, I shave with them a lot because I'm very familiar. If, it, if a razor does, you know, not the greatest with this blade, and it may be the case. Sometimes this is a very mild blade, and sometimes you need a very sharp blade with some razors. So I'm going to uh, load this up. And as I was saying, I'm very familiar with the Yaki products, their, their uh, brushes. But I, this will be my first time using one of their razors. Now, I want to see if there's any play in that blade. No, it looks like it locks in very well. Locks it in very well. You can see that the... Paul always likes to mention there's a little bit of a hangover at the side of the uh, the razor, but that looks good. Now they did send me one more razor, and I'm not going to try that today, but I will. I think I might have to do a side by side because they actually look at this razor. Does it look familiar? There's the air freshener blasting. This looks to me to be a clone, a replica, similar razor. to the bevel. Very, very similar. I may have to do in a future a side-by-side -side comparison to see. And someone had asked me about that. They go, have you seen the, uh, they called it the bevel clone, and have you tried it? And uh, no, I haven't tried it. So, you know, we've got, uh, we've got that razor in the future to look at. All right. Lemon chill. It's summer in Southern California. And someone said, hey man, lemon chill is the way to go. I do, I do like lemon chill. I haven't used it before. I'm going to top it off with a little Italian citrus. So let me see if I can, let me wet the face a little. See the growth? It's coming out. Salt and pepper beard. Someone says, hey man, you're always shaving. 
and never see the growth. Wait a few days. Wish granted. It's been a few days now. There we go. First time using this badger. So I'm not sure how much water to leave in. That is a big knot. <laughs> a very, very, very big knot. A little more. See, I, I shook out too much water. And it's the water soap ratio on these brushes that determine whether you're going to get a good lather or not. Now it's working a little better. And it does, well, the scent so overpowering does not smell like a wet animal. You ever wash your dog or your cat? And uh, whew, they usually stinks after that. See, that's a little wet or a little dry. I'm going to wet it a little more. There you go. Yeah, one gent was commenting, saying, every time I shave, the lather's dry before I finish a pass. Or, uh, yeah, the first pass. Wet it a little bit. And I often use a shave bowl. I, I would usually put some of this into a shave bowl, and uh, then you really can uh, control the water content. The brush feels very good. Paints the fence perfect. No smell. Handle is very easy to hold, and that is one big, big, big knot. Is it the loft? It's got a very good loft. All right, now I'm a little nervous of this. It just looks intimidating, but let's see. So if you come out a little bit more of an angle, you ga grab less. It peeled the hair off. Nice. Okay. So far, excellent on the brush. I'm going to be a little nervous here, so uh, I started talking once with the R41 and cut myself. Did you watch the games this week, World Cup? Okay, I'm going to say it. Congratulations, Croatia. You won very well. That was a uh, spectacular goals, especially the first one. England played very well, and I wish England luck against Belgium for third place. Uh, you can't have it all. Furthest England's been since, what, 1990? And I actually took uh, some vacation time from work because I wanted to watch that game. So I went to the Tilted Kilt. You guys heard of the Tilted Kilt? It's like a Hooters with a Scottish theme. But they had so many big screens showing that World Cup. It was just absolutely great. But since the game went into overtime, uh, in the first overtime, it was funny. Here's a clip from uh, that, uh, that game at uh, the Tilted Kilt in Anaheim, California. And if you can hear the guy in the background, He's all, come on, England, I got to get back to work. Come on, England, come on, England, I got to get back to work. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was pretty funny. So who you for, Croatia or France now? Picking up a few spots I missed. I'm gonna come in at an angle on this one. Now the comb, they're not sharp, they're, they're dull end combs, but uh, you can feel them dragging a little on your skin. But so far, 
I'm actually very surprised I didn't cut myself. I think a Phoenix Artisan accoutrements, I did a... Oh, see? This stuff's dried. So I'm adding more water. There's Mr. Monty out there. Got back from work and he, he's been stuck in the house, but it's air conditioned. For a few days, so I ended up taking him down to the beach. He goes eight crap at the beach. He just goes nuts at the beach. Starts screaming in the car, trying to climb out the windows, loves the beach. So I took him to Seal Beach. If you're not familiar with Southern California, you've got Newport Beach down south, and you've got uh, Huntington Beach, you've got Seal Beach, and then you've got Long Beach. And then you start going up to Manhattan Beach and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of surfing going on in Huntington Beach, but not too much in Seal Beach. But here you go. Seal Beach, one thing about Seal Beach, I'll take you on a quick tour, and you can fast forward through this if you don't want to see it. Some people say they like seeing what Southern California looks like. But here's a quick tour of Seal Beach, Main Street. A uh, lot of old restaurants, kind of the old feel. Huntington Beach is more like Miami Beach now, very modern. Uh, new hotels, but check a look. And then I end up at Bolsa Chica State Beach with Monty, and uh, I'll do a panoramic view for you. This is what it was like at the beach today. That was a very nice afternoon. It's about 4.30. I've got to go meet a contractor at 5. My mother's house, my mother, uh, my mother, uh, she's got dementia. So she's in a full care facility now, being taken care of 24-7. So she, we, we, she rents out her house and uh, we're doing a little improvement on it, putting in a driveway, a new patio in the backyard for the tenants, and I have to meet the contractor. <laughs> Made me nervous. A little after five to go do an estimate. A lot of the open comb, I clipped the top of my lip I didn't with this. And I'm telling you, I can hang on to this. This is very good. There's a nice long handle razor. It holds very well. See how wet that is? Well, the blade or this razor is holding some water. There's a razor, and I went on the web page. Some, you know, I, I learned from you guys. There's a razor made in Glasgow, Scotland, called Braveheart. Someone said, "Can you give it a try?" So, I ordered one. It's in the mail. The gentleman actually knew who I uh, was, which was great. I know Mantic did a review on it. Uh, so I'm looking forward for, for that to, to show up because uh, I've, I had relatives in Glasgow before. I've been to Glasgow many times. I used to have relatives in Kelso. In, whew, that lemon chill smell is uh, making my eyes water. Let me see here. BB 
DPS. There's no way I'm going to risk going for a third pass when I don't have to. Especially go to see a contractor. Come on. Behind the ear, behind the ear, it would look ridiculous. In the ear, guys, I'm very surprised that I got out of there without one cut. Oh, speaking of razors, um, Global Shave Company sent me some razors. You've seen me; I've done uh, uh, what was it, the uh, cappuccino, uh, the black tiger, and they sent me a ladies' razor for my wife to try. My wife was so damn scared, the jasmine. So I sent a, uh, I, I, there's, there's a, a really nice lady who watches, a Jill, watches, I talk all the time with her. And I said, can I send you this, this razor to try and keep it and tell me, my wife won't use it. Uh, I wanted to kind of comment on it. And here, here's the razor. And she said she got a BBS shave with it. Uh, there was no issues. She said it was uh, similar to the Mercure 34. Her issue was uh, the handle uh, uh, wasn't completely smooth. There was one spot where it was uh, just just not a little knotty. She said not, not quite uh, as smooth as the rest of the handle, but it worked fantastic. Gave her a BBS shave. So Global Shave Company. Excellent, Mr. Sheldon. Excellent uh, review on that she did, and she has a blog. And uh, I, I really appreciate Jill. Thank you. Uh, enjoy. I, I mean, they send me these razors to try. I, I, you know, I'm not going to be trying out the ladies' razor, obviously, on my legs. But uh, uh, she tried it out, and she said it's fantastic. So uh, way to go. So thank you, Jill, and thank you, Sheldon, for sending me that. All right. I'm going to use some... Uh, Pete, look at how foamy that is. My son must have been shaking the hell. He was just in here before me. So it's kind of, so he took a shower. It's kind of sweaty in here. I'm going to use a little witch hazel. Very nice. Man, that lemon chill. Yeah, I forget. Somebody, one of you mentioned it. Try the lemon chill. It's great for the summer months. Can't go wrong. Sterling. But I'm looking forward to this fine Italian citrus. There's the burn. Oh. Very nice. Wow. So my first use of a Yaki razor, razor and uh, no complaints at all. That's why when I get a new razor, if a company sends me it or whether I buy it, whatever I do, well, first thing I clean it because, you know, even though it's brand new, yeah, I put it in the barbicide, I clean it. I recommend you do, uh, you clean your razors, you know, fresh out of the package. You don't know who's been handling it. So I uh, clean it and, and then these ones I, I shave in front of you for the first time. So I'm not biased, whether I bought it or whether a company sent it to me, I'm going to shave and you're going to see. And if I cut myself or if it goes wrong, you're going to see it firsthand. And you saw that. That was the first time I've ever used that. And it worked quite well. It is, it is intimidating. But uh, someone has said that it shaves very mild. And, and it does. It does. And, man, really let me clean this off a little bit. Get that soap out of there. Don't like to leave the soap in the brushes. Always dry them upside down, right? Shake that monster off. That silver tip badger brush was excellent. So I'm gonna put it on the stand upside down here. Barely fits on the stand. I'm gonna have. To, yeah, it does not fit on that stand. It's so. See, here's my uh, shave mac. Look. At, quite a big knot. I think I have, I do have another stand here that there we go. 
So now she can dry. Perfect. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. World Cup coming up. France, Croatia, England, Belgium. It's going to be great. Uh, if you like soccer, football, you know, it's going to be good. And uh, I'd ordered my England shirts. Number seven, or number nine, number six. One white, one red. Haven't got here yet, just as well. But uh, I would have wore them to, I did wear my England shirt to... Uh, uh, that tilted kilt and when England scored a goal about 95% of the people jumped up cheering When Croatia scored the goal, uh, you know, 5% jumped up cheering, but uh, hey you won Congratulations and congratulations to all the teams in the World Cup this year. United States didn't make it Maybe in four years and it is coming to the United States. I think in eight years So uh, my daughter says let's go dad. I got a date I'm gonna go watch the World Cup when it comes here to the US all right, everybody, have a great night, and uh, sorry for blabbing on. We'll talk to you all again real soon.